Yo, what's going on, guys? We are episode five, six. Sorry about that. We're episode six of my GM series. And again, sorry about last episode. You guys might have noticed that my voice was kind of like that's because I was just trying to get a video out for you guys, but I realized that wasn't the smart thing to do. And this is GM, so there's no way of going backwards because of the saves. So, whew. We did get a pretty, that was a pretty intense series. All these games were close. The only games that weren't close were that 4-0 win for us. And I, no, that was about it. Two goal games are close. It was all two goal and one goal games this whole series besides that 4-0 win for us. I was just looking at the player stats. I didn't do anything else. And it looks like somehow Yager has like five points. And in the regular season he had like 15 and playoffs, we are not doing too good, but uh, Clemenson, I was looking at his stats, he is really good, but he's like a 77, that's probably why. Okay, the Islanders, uh, before I start playing, I want to see how good their team is. Hopefully, hopefully they're not too good. At first I was like, oh, they have a terrible team, and I'm like, wait, never mind, this is actual like fantasy. Islanders would have been good in a few years few years, but let's see what they actually have. Mahalik, Richards, Okposo, first line is, eh, it's, Richards and Mahalik are good, Okposo not really, second line, Upshaw and Pelusi. eh, no offense, that's not very really good with the line. Simmons brings it out a little bit, but he's more of a third liner. Third line, that's like a fourth line. And their fourth line is like a fifth line, if there was a fifth line. They don't have a good second line. Their second line is really bringing them down. Our Pozo is bringing them down their first line. Maybe they have a stacked defense. Let's see. Well, Stahl and Weber are their two big guys. I'd say their defense is kind of the same as ours. Their top, do, their top two are better than ours by... Well, Weber's, I think, three or four better than Bo Meester. And then, in their defense is better. Let's just go with that. Okay, so that we have a better offense, I'd say by far. They have better defense. Goalie, eh, I'll give them the goalie as well. But our offense is, I'd say defense is pretty close. Goalies them, and we have offense by far. We better score, guys, because, honestly, Penguins, they didn't have a very good team in the net and defense. This has a much better team defensively, and we couldn't score against the Penguins. Let's see what we can do in game one. Got to get a nice first period. And Havlet scores, but so is Dorsett. Second period. Uh, not very good looking, but uh, maybe we can get one quick. They only have ten shots. If we can get one before ten minutes, I think we're back in this. But power play, nothing. Penalty kill, nothing. Power play again. Oh, man. Who are they having net again? Letting him. But... We can't get one more goal on them, guys. Only one. Nope. Again, that was like four power plays. In. If we lose this game, um, gosh, 43 shots and we only got one goal. Whew. That was kind of shocking, honestly. 43 shots. We got one goal on Lightning. Um, like one goal on like 43 shots. Okay, if we lose this game and we get like two or three power plays, I'm just going to completely change the power play lines. Let's see what happens though. Game two, first period. There we go. Hamannick power play goal, so that's a little bit better. Second period. Again, they're not getting any shots. Marty, you just got to keep... You got to make like... If you make 20 saves, you could let in a goal. So there we go. That's, that's my rule right now. Just made it up, but that's what we're going to stick with. Power play again for us. Can we? We can't score on that. That was a four-minute power play. Oh, all these double minors and five major, five-minute majors, and we can't score on them. And Weber scores. Ah, oh, well, they got 20 shots. That was not the best. I should have said 25 shots. Come on, guys. We have 32, 35 shots basically. 
Thank you, Salvador. Not expecting him to score, but that's fine. Doesn't matter who scores for us. But letting him, whew, he is playing outstanding. Again, we're not scoring now. If we go up against a team whose defense is so good, or a team whose offense is so good, we're pretty much done. We're lucky we're going up against like a below average offense and pretty good defense. Nothing too good. First period, there we go. Semen and Spezza, second period. Okay, I think we have this. Brodor, if they get 25 shots, you can let in one. Five on three, nothing. Five on nice. That was a good PK. If we get to 10 minutes, I think we got this game. Power play, and we, of course, we don't score like usual on them. And it's looking like Marty is going to get a shutout. Nice. Okay, well, uh, he may be 82 overall. He may be 40 years old. But he is keeping us in this, and he's winning us games. I'll give him that. We are actually doing pretty good against Islanders. I mean, I really don't see how they got here. I feel like the Penguins were better. Definitely offensively and defensively, they're better. But, I mean, Islanders, but still, I mean, their second, third, and fourth line all could be like their third or fourth line. They don't really have a good team, like, forward-wise. And they don't have no standout players on forwards. Pit Pittsburgh had Crosby. Okay, so game four. We win this game. It would mean a lot. That means we have like three chances to win. But if we lose this game and go back being 2-2, two and two, that's going to be a really bad uh, downgrade instead of 3-1. So it's hopefully we can get a win here. First period. And of course, uh, Pozo, who uh, a little trash talking I was giving him before, he scores in the power play. Second period. <sighs> like usual, we have more than 20 shots going into the third. And like usual, they have less than like 15 going into the third. Okay, well, let's try to get at least two goals this period, guys. Maybe a power play goal. There we go. Kovalchuk, finally. Besides an empty net goal he got, he finally scored. Please, let's just kill this. Okay. If we get 32 shots, we better score. I'm calling that. I called the other one. They, oh, never mind. Didn't call that one right. Looking like we're going to overtime. Oh my god. Spezza scored with 9 seconds left. No goalie pulled. Nothing like that. I'm betting that we win this and we're going to the third round. Nice job letting in. But we did beat you this time. And Marty. I don't get why. He's not the first star. But okay. But Marty played outstanding like usual. I think Marty's going to win the Vesna. I really do. Oh wait. No. I forgot. This is... This is, the playoffs don't take a part in, and he didn't play the best in their full season, but playoff-wise, I think he'd easily win the Vesna. He'd be underrated goalie of the year, oldest, best goalie of the year, a bunch of those random things I could just make up, he'd win them all. And we're not even, like, taking a break with him, he just keeps rolling and rolling. This could be it for this, uh, this episode, we could beat the Islanders in five. Hopefully we could do it at home, which would be nice, but I don't see that happening, I think this is going to go to six. Let's see what happens. First period. There we go, Eliash. Second period. Eliash again, and Paul Mary. Okay, they actually have 20 shots in going into the period. We have 25. Let's try to get one goal, and let's play defensively, and I think we got this. Power play. 5 on 3. Come on. How do we not score on a 5 on 3 in like a 50 minute? Look, we were, that was 7 minutes we were on the 5 on 4, and we didn't score. Oh my, there we go, Spezza scores, and we have the series. They're not going to score on the power play. And it's looking like the Devil, not the Devils, the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to be going to the third round. That was a lot easier than the, the yeah Pittsburgh series, except we're still not scoring a lot. I mean, wait, I don't even remember. We got three goals this game. I don't think we got more than four. Yeah, we didn't score at all. We got two, we got one, two, 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 and three. We're not getting four or five, and I feel like we should. Our first line, the lowest, well, Havlat's in there now, but still, like, offensively, Kovalchuk, Havlat, and Spezza. Spezza might not be the best scorer-wise, but he can be passing the puck everywhere, and Havlat or Kovalchuk should be sniping. Second line, I mean... Nash is amazing for second line. That's like the best second line winger you can ask for. 
Ribeiro had 70 points in the regular season. I was going to trade him for like nothing. 70 points for Ribeiro, that's incredible. And then on the left wing, we have Semin, who's amazing. Well, offensive wise. Defensive wise, uh, not so much. But we did beat the Islanders in the second round. We're going to be advancing. We could go to the Cup Finals, but I don't know. I mean, depends who we have to face this round. They're still injured, and it looks like we lost in five, but that's the HL team. None of our good rookies are there. They're all in the minors. So after this season, if we can win the Cup, I think we're going to trade, because I want to bring up our rookies maybe next season, either next season or just wait one more, but I'm probably going to try to bring them up next season. And maybe trade Ellie. No, I'm not sure. I'll see. I think Yager's going to retire, so we're definitely going to replace him. But we'll see. I know we have a bunch of. I think we have like five young defensemen in the minors. But let's see who we're going to be facing next round in the Eastern Conference Finals. And it will be the. The. Florida Panthers. My gosh. Wasn't expecting them, but uh, okay. Let's take a look at their team. Hopefully it's not too good, because the teams we face, no offense to them, they weren't very good. Let's take a look at Florida. Taylor Hall, okay. So, uh, seeing a lot of lower 70s. Taylor Hall, Backlund, and Setaguchi. Taylor Hall's a good first liner. Backlund would be a good third liner. Setaguchi would be a good second or third liner. Raymond be a good third liner. Colburn good third liner. Sabaka third or fourth liner. Don't even know who Hart Kanikin is. He'd probably be a good fourth liner. Thompson good fourth liner. Tutu good fourth liner. And their fourth line should be their fifth line. Again, not gonna say anything because the Penguins did score and so did the Islanders, but. Honestly, their team offensively isn't good. Backlund as your first liner. Instead of Gucci as your first liner. I see Hall because he's fast and he's pretty good offensive stats, but a lot of lower 70s on their third and fourth line. Defense, wow, I'm pretty shocked about that too. I was really thinking they were going to have like 386s and above. We definitely, we cover them on D. Martin and Bomeister are better than Gleason and Bojan. Bogosian, sorry about that. Salvador is better than Franzen. Um, Erhoff's better than Weidman. Hammer, Hammer, Hammernick. We always get, because him and Hammerlick both on the team, probably should trade one of them. Get the names a little bit better. Hammernick's better than Hunwick, and our sixth defenseman is better than Clending, and whatever, how you, however you pronounce that. They gotta have an amazing goalie. Let's see. Yep, Jonathan Quick. That might be a little bit hard to score on him, but I'm gonna say right now, offensively, first line we beat them, second line we beat them, third line we beat them, fourth line. Maybe it'll be even, I'll just give them that. Defense, first line we beat them, second line we beat them, third line we beat them. And goaltending wise, they beat us, but Marty has been playing exceptionally well. So I don't know about that. I mean Quick could save them, or, I mean, look at this score. Setaguchi has seven goals, Colburn has six. But I really think we should easily win. I think they're worse than, than the Islanders' offense. They're worse than the Penguins' defense. Best goalie we've faced so far, but the record has been the worst as well. Yes, it has. So, I don't know who they faced, but whoever they faced must have been pretty bad. Or Quick just saved them. Is it Quick? It's not even quick. He's number six for five and six. I mean, he's good, but he's not in the top two or something like that. Marty is number two for save percentage, almost number one, and number one for goals against average. Forty-year-old goalie. It's gonna be sad when he goes. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to replace him and play this good. Regular season, he played. He just played good enough to get us in playoffs. He's really stepping up his game. Well, it's going to look like I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'm going to just check check out our stats. Player stats. Season no. Playoffs. Player stats. Playoffs. NHL. See who's producing, who's not. Centers. What do we got here? 
There we go. That's nine points. That's good. Lir seven. That's good. Herbero, and eh, that's pretty good. Bosca, that's fine for like a fifty overall. Mitchell, that's good. I'll just give him that. Another good thing is our top three centers. No, no penalties. That's good. Left wingers, Kovalchuk seven. Would be nice to see him have one or two more goals. Payet, um, that's good. Semin, not really. I, he should have like two more goals and like one more assist. Eight penalty minutes for Kovalchuk. That probably should be down as well. Right wingers, Nash with, no, Havlat with six. Should see him with about two more goals. Yager with four, that's perfect for him. Nash with only four and only assists. He should have like two more assists and like two more goals. And he's ten penalty minutes. So the two that stand out are Nash and Kovalchuk. And Semin. Those are the three. I'd say more likely Semin and Nash should be doing a little bit better. But, I mean, we're still winning. And defensemen, I like to look at plus minus. All plus, that's good. Except... Bomeister is the worst, and he's the best overall. Who about, how about goals? Hamannik, Goligoski, Bomeister and Salvador. It's good. And points, Goligoski and Martin. And goalie, there he is. An almost 96 save percentage. Four shutouts. Just outstanding. He's been playing awesome. I think he's playing good enough to be in the finals and win the cup. And then he can retire happily with Yarmir Yager. And then we'll have to go next season and find a backup goalie and a backup to replace the right winger spot. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for uh, the next video where we either going to go to the finals and well, we're going to beat Florida and go to the finals and have a chance at the cup. Or we're going to get swept maybe by the Florida Panthers and can't stop and can't score on quick. Hopefully we can score on them. We'll have to find out till next episode to find out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.